Um, while I'm here, I'll go ahead and reset this and let me just load uh, another filter operation or show you another filter operation just so you can see this. This is another one of these things that I that I asked Mike to incorporate in here. I always felt it was important and missing from PixInsight, something that you could easily do in Photoshop. Well, now I can do it here. So let's zoom into this region right here. So this is another case where we're gonna be operating on the image itself. So I'm gonna load the same image again. So we have the base image and the blend image are the same. Sorry, I should, I'll zoom in again here. And uh, there's a nice sharpening operation that you can do here. One of the sharp, sharpening, sharpening operations you can do is something called uh, high pass with the overlay blending mode. So first we're gonna just use high pass. Now you don't, you don't need to do it in these two steps. You could just go high pass and then just do the overlay, but I wanna show you the guts. So when you show the high pass uh, result, what you're seeing is kind of the structures at a particular scale size that's being um, controlled by this filter radius. So if we make the filter radius larger, you'll see larger structures. And if you make it smaller, you'll get smaller structures. And the way to think of this is anything that's kind of gray, not much happens in this image. So if you're just seeing gray in this, this high pass version, it's not going to affect the blend when we put it all together. But something that is darker will become darker in the blended result. And something that is lighter here on the screen will become lighter in the blended result. So it's really the scale that we're interested in. So you choose some appropriate scale. I'm just gonna pick this scale. And then we blend with and so this is a very particular technique. It's called the high pass with overlay blending technique. There we go. And then I can show you the before and the after. Do you see the nice kind of sharpening contrast enhancement? It's, it's not an unsharp mask, but it, it's similar to an unsharp mask. Isn't that cool? All right. 